Snack Deckers, today I want to give you a preview, a sneak preview of the new Solar Dashboard software. Here you can see the uh, Solar Dashboard version 1. We're now on version 3. Looks something like this. Haven't updated the picture because, you know, all these things take time. Okay, this was the version 1 of the software. Okay, it's very simple. I'll just show you the last 24 hours. Quite simple. A lot of people liked it. Uh, we're getting a lot of interest. We had some really neat projects people were doing. Here's an example. We got uh, Ross here who's putting a solar dashboard on some sort of Wi-Fi repeater thing. He posted some pictures. So version 3 is about to come out. Um, if you go to the shop you can still get version 3 for the price of version 2 until it's until it's released. So we've got a limited, limited price here. And there's some amazing new features that I want to show you. So Let's go over here. I've got the uh, solar dashboard uh, plugged in in my trailer, and I'm just going to navigate to the to the site. And you, boom! You see version three, huge improvements. Okay, uh, right away, you can see we got a new color scheme going on. Biggest improvement ever. Okay, is you can pretty much record every single day for the rest of your life. Just pop in a Four gigabyte or, or greater SD card and you could probably record years of data. So we've got a date picker here. We can see, uh, we can see yesterday's data. We can see the last seven days. Now what you see here is this is noise that uh, we generated because we haven't been, you know, this is just a sneak peek, okay? So this hasn't been running for that long. So uh, these are noise and this is real data from the solar uh, setup I have. So you see this was uh, today and then uh, a few days ago. Um, a bit of data there and you can see right now it's nighttime so uh, pretty much everything's off but this is updated live right now there's just not much uh, going on uh, you can see the generation down here and yeah I mean it's it's a huge update now you can see the with the chart you got the the tool uh, the tooltip here we can see exactly what our generation was right here let's say uh, Two, two watts, four watts, it's all very wintry here, over here, but keeping the battery topped up. Yeah, so we can uh, we can zoom in, you know, let's uh, zoom into this part, no problem, we can see what's going on. Um, we can zoom in right here, see what's going on over there. Uh, this will help, you know, more with the uh, these sort of displays, so you can decide you want to zoom in on, uh, on this area here. Boom, you know, boom! So easy, right? You can see the dates down here, December 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. So this is the major improvement. You can record your whole solar panel generation. Now, the way the recording works here, okay, is every minute a sample is saved. But that sample is an average of every five seconds that it was able to record. So it's very accurate data okay you're gonna see very that's an improvement from the last version um, extremely accurate with averaging now so that even uh, even if there's a slight blip and the you know there's clouds and the sun comes out you're gonna get an exact reading of what's happening um, it's not gonna miss that so what else we got we have this uh, um, settings uh, page here so so what's happening here is the new solar, you can put this file on your SD card to set up more advanced um, APs and, and whatever. So you can you can put a password on or whatever. It'll work out of the box, but if you want to go more advanced, there's going to be more details on this. It's, it's all pretty straightforward. You can, uh, it, it puts out its own uh, AP, you can see right here. So you can connect to that and you can see the, uh, the thing. Uh, okay, what else we got to show you? New changes. We have a new logging feature, so tell you exactly what's going on. We can figure out if there's any issues. You can also configure the Wi-Fi from here, so I could disconnect this thing and then reconnect to a different Wi-Fi from right here. You can update all previous solar dashboards. Version 2 with the real-time clock is going to give you the best performance. Okay, and speaking about the real-time clock, this solar dashboard 
is now using real-time clock. So you can use it off-grid and on-grid. So the real-time clock is a, it's a clock that's built in to some of the version 2 and um, solar dashboards. And if you have that, then it will be able to keep time off-grid when there's no internet connection. If you have an internet connection, it will automatically synchronize to your internet connection. And if you're off-grid and there's no internet connection, it will still work. It's, it's magic, okay? It will still get the right time and it will sync up the time every time you connect to this thing. So, you know, you can get your wife a solar, get one for yourself, get one for your wife, well, e either way. Um, get one for your grandkids, why not, you know? Your grandkids could use a solar dashboard. Now remember, this solar dashboard works with EP Ever um, style controllers. Um, we have a another project going that's going to work on any solar setup. But for now, EP Ever style, EP Solar, or the Renogy compatible ones. There's a lot of rebrands. They use the RS485 connector. Uh, that's one way to tell. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, forum, the Snack Tech forum at snacktech.com slash forum and then we also and you can get help here you know it's, um, and there's also the the, the online store you can, where you can buy the dashboard so really appreciate your support and we'll see you next time